Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is ReactJS full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the previous episode, we learned how to loop an array of objects and display that data inside the component. Today, we are going to learn a very, very extremely important topic, which is components inside component. There are many ways of how we can do that. I'm going to show you different variations, but before that, let me demo you the application we have built so far. <clears throat> so we are building a credit card portal where we will list down all the credit cards. In the last episode, we looped the data of these cards and displayed it. We added a three components so far. We added header, main content and footer. Today, I'm going to walk you through concept of component inside component. There are different ways. I'll cover a little bit of theory and do lots of coding. Let's get started. If you have missed out on the previous 10 episodes, make sure that you go through that in order to have continuity to your learning. I want you to master react with me while building this project. <coughs> All right. So talking about components inside component, the entire react application is already built on the concept that we can break it down into smaller reusable pieces called components. We can nest components into other components, which makes it a hierarchical structure. When we build hierarchy, it can be categorized into parent and child components. This allows us to have reusability and better maintainability of the code. It also helps us in separation of the concerns, which makes it easy to manage and update your code. We can pass the data from parent to child via props. We can also create a component inside another component. There are a lot of benefits of nested component. It helps us in building a modular application design and also creating a code which is much easy to maintain, read and in our long run update the code. That being said, let's jump right into code. First, a little bit of I'll show you the application hierarchy of how we design because it's when you're working in a real time project, you will be required to have this understanding. So component inside components. <coughs> All right. So take an example of what we have done so far. We have an app. If you open your index.js, you will see that there is an app component that is being rendered. If you open app.js, we created header, main content and footer, which are inside app, which means we already have a hierarchy like this. We have header. We have main content. We have footer. Now we can enhance the main content and break it down into further smaller UI pieces or components. Let's say search. We can add pagination. We can add some more and say filtering. So, so on and so forth. Search can again be broken down into smaller pieces and we can say advanced search. We can also have saved searches like this. So you see we are forming a hierarchy. Now here app is the parent of header, main content and footer. Main content is the parent for search, pagination and filters. Search is a parent for advanced search and save search. So that's how you design the architecture of the page. You design that in a hierarchical order and you create smaller components. Important thing to know, we can use components inside other components. Now, <clears throat> when you have a tightly coupled component, let's say payment, you don't want to have them in a separate file. So we can have, we can have two components inside same file. Okay. I'm going to show you that options right now. All right. So what we will do is as part of this main uh, thing, first I'm going to create a child component inside this function, inside the main content. So I'm writing a component right inside. So this is way number one of how you can define a child component. So I'm going to say const search or or say search bar for this particular thing. And we will make it a method 
and and we'll just return some simple for now and say search results bar okay so that's one now we to use it just inside this main content I'm going to use this as a component close that make sure that you close this self closing because otherwise you will get errors so I've I included this child component inside this parent one so let's go back and now you can see search results bar is coming up in the main content because now search bar is a child for the main component main content component there is another way of how we can define it <coughs> that's the way that we have learned so far which is to write export function then I will say paginate pagination now you will notice that I am not adding default because only one default function only one default function is allowed in the JS file okay I'm going to show you the error right now so I'm going to add default and it will give us an error that there should be you can see here in the errors it says only one default export per module right so we don't need this default but you can have it as a component you can have a return wrapper and here we are going to return a div and here inside this we are going to put some pagination links for now dummy links say one two three four etc so this is nothing but just a simple component which can be used inside the main component template and we will write like this so now I have the search bar and pagination which are child components this is one way using a function and directly returning the template the other is defining it outside and exporting it and using it so if I go to my template I can see search bar I can see the pagination as well now if I want to change the order of the pagination I will just place it at the end of the row so now you can see I'm getting my pagination here to make it more relevant I will go to get bootstrap documentation and take the pagination module which is what it looks like this so I'll copy this code go to my pagination template and inside this div I will just paste it so now I have my pagination template ready and this is what will be rendered in my application you can see here it is saying pagination previous one two three next right as for the search bar you can add the title here and say how many results returned etc but you get the idea that you can create multiple child components multiple child components and use them in a parent component okay this concept is extremely important because if you notice all of the react applications are built on this fundamental basis that you will have multiple child components for a parent and you'll keep using them and passing data through props and build that complex UI with the use of components right now this page has five components one two this entire thing is three four and footer is five so five components already so far built I'm sure that you're confident of building your own components right now because in the next two episodes I'm going to cover different ways of creating a component there are two main ways of creating a component one is functional component the other is a class component you can define both of them the output will be same but the way we write the code is different I'm going to cover everything that you need to master react so stay with me just code what I'm doing and follow that I'm sure in no time you will be an expert in react thank you so much for joining in this episode join me in the next episode we will talk about functional components we will implement some I hope you are enjoying this series please do hit that like button for me and do subscribe to my channel thank you